Hello, I'm Chad Bowie. I'm out of the Holdridge location, and uh, what we're going to go through today is um, the inside crop settings on Class 8 and Class 9 7 Series machines. Okay, so with these newer machines, if you have a iPad, um, any smartphone, Android, iPhone, doesn't matter, they have a really nice app called Go Harvest. And what that's going to allow you to do is download it, have it with you. Um, and once you open it up, it takes you through step by step. So we're just going to hit OK here. We're obviously on an S series. Um, we're going to do, uh, we're going to start out with corn. And then we'll hit save. So it's going to pop up and it's going to give you some different deals here obviously it starts with the outside but down here at the bottom if you hit inside boom there you go and that's what we're going to talk about so it gives us all our uh, rough settings to start out okay we're going to start out in here um, we're going to just do some recommended settings or approximate settings on for corn and on these newer screens uh, works really good compared to some of the older machines it's as simple as just you can see on our home screen here we got things set up so just touch in the middle of that and boom it brings us right to our settings so for a threshing clearance for example if we want to start with that on like a 26 or 28 just simply scroll it to there um, you can see as that's turning that means it's adjusting um, threshing speed now as you can notice the threshing speed is on zero um, remember that to adjust that we've got to have our separator engaged and our combine running at full speed um, for corn uh, you can start at like 350 or 400 cleaning fan is the same way it's at zero until the machine is engaged and at full speed um, start the fan speed maybe approximately uh, 1200 ish um, chaffer clearance um, you can set that up ahead of time let's maybe start that at uh, 16 or 18 and then our sieve clearance uh, maybe 8 and boom there you are when you're done you can X out and as you can see it made our changes and then once again if you get your changes made make sure the combines full you're going through the field um, obviously check your green tank sample check the ground and make adjustments accordingly so after you make your changes on your main display here if you are running an extended display depending on how you have your home pages set up uh, up here on this one we just have our settings on the bottom left so you'll be able to watch those settings as you make adjustments on on both screens okay so now that we kind of went through a little bit of the corn we're going to discuss um, when you're ready to switch over maybe to go to soybeans um, so we're going to go back to our go harvest app and all you got to do is hit these little four squares at the top and it's as simple as that see we're on crop corn dry we just touch that change setup then you scroll to our soybeans hit save go back to our inside and voila there's uh, some rough settings to uh, start out for our beans okay so we went through our setup for our corn so now we're just going to uh, switch over to soybeans so we'll go to crop switch to soybeans hit ok and we'll hit ok again and so now we're ready for our soybean setup. Once again, it's as simple as touching the machine. That takes us to our um, current settings that we had set up for our corn. Now we're ready to go to beans. Um, threshing clearance does not change a whole lot. Um, you may increase it a couple for your beans. Um, threshing speed, uh, we can go to probably five or six hundred and once again make sure our separators engaged full idle 
or full, full throttle, excuse me. That'll give us our number. Uh, cleaning fan speed, um, maybe 1100, 1050, somewhere in there. Um, our chaffer clearance uh, just depends on what kind of crop. You know, we can maybe uh, drop that down to 15. And then our sieve, we can maybe go from 8 to 6. Not a whole lot of changes there from corn to beans. Um, obviously, we're talking between green, dry, whatever our stems might be. Um, honestly, the only way to set our machine correctly would be to uh, be harvesting, um, check grain tank, check ground, make adjustments accordingly. So that kind of wraps up our videos here on some end cap settings. Uh, if you have any questions, call your local landmark location and uh, someone there will be able to hook you up. And thank you and have a great day.